Today, we've got a juicy scoop on the world of semiconductor giants, and it's a roller coaster ride from TSMC to Huawei. In a jaw dropping twist, TSMC's founder, Morris Chang, initially threw his weight behind the U.S. sanctions on the Chinese semiconductor industry. But guess what? Huawei's Mate 60 series just ripped the cover off TSMC's secret sauce. TSMC had us all thinking they were kings of innovation with their rapid progression from 16 nanometers to 3 nanometers chips. The smaller the process, the more power and efficiency, right? That's what we thought. But the Huawei Kirin 9000S chip came out swinging with a 7 nanometers process and flagship level performance, leaving TSMC's latest chips in the dust. Apple's A17 Pro chip, built on the cutting edge 3 nanometers process, somehow chugged more power and couldn't keep up with the competition. So here's the plot twist. Pushing the process further doesn't always equal a better user experience. It can mean higher costs and fewer chips that work perfectly. Now, the real kicker. With Huawei's comeback, TSMC's top clients, Apple and Qualcomm, are shaking in their boots. Some experts predict Apple's iPhone 15 series will ship 10 million units less this year. TSMC's founder, Morris Chang, is no longer feeling as confident as he once did. And if that's not enough drama, TSMC is struggling to compete overseas. Why? Because they're like the distant relative at a family reunion while American chip makers are the hometown heroes. So what's the deal with the U.S. treating TSMC this way? Two reasons. TSMC is a global semiconductor giant, and the U.S. wants to use them to influence Taiwan and China. But here's the twist. TSMC is also at the mercy of the U.S., thanks to American capital backing them. They have to dance to Uncle Sam's tune. And finally, TSMC's decision to build a factory in the U.S.? Well, that's part of a grand U.S. scheme to boost its semiconductor industry and outshine China. Let's dive deeper into the Huawei showdown and the impact it's having on the semiconductor landscape. Huawei, a Chinese tech giant known for its smartphones and networking equipment, was once a significant client of TSMC. However, due to various geopolitical factors, Huawei faced trade restrictions and sanctions imposed by the United States. These restrictions severely impacted Huawei's ability to source cutting-edge semiconductor technology from companies like TSMC. In response to these challenges, Huawei took matters into its own hands and developed its in-house semiconductor solutions, most notably the Kirin 9000S chip. This chip, fabricated on a 7 nanometers process node, garnered significant attention and praise in the tech industry. It showcased that even with a slightly larger process node, Huawei could deliver performance and power efficiency that rivaled TSMC's more advanced chips. This revelation sent shockwaves through the industry, raising questions about the value of pushing semiconductor technology to its limits. It appeared that the traditional belief that smaller process nodes equate to better performance and energy efficiency wasn't an absolute truth. Huawei's success with the Kirin 9000S highlighted that innovative design and optimization could compensate for a larger process node. The impact on Apple. Apple, one of TSMC's top clients, also faced challenges due to the changing dynamics in the semiconductor industry. They had adopted TSMC's cutting-edge 3 nanometers process for their A17 Pro chip, expecting substantial gains in performance and power efficiency. However, the real-world performance of the A17 Pro chip fell short of expectations. Compared to its predecessor, the A16 chip, which utilized a 4 nanometers process, the A17 Pro chip experienced increased power consumption and only marginal improvements in CPU performance. To make matters worse, the GPU of the A17 Pro chip was outperformed by competitors like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and the MediaTek Dimensity 9000 Plus. This raised concerns about the relentless push for smaller process nodes and whether it truly translated into meaningful improvements in user experience. TSMC's challenges. The release of Huawei's Kirin 9000S chip has not only put pressure on smartphone manufacturers like Apple, but also exposed some fundamental challenges facing TSMC as a semiconductor foundry. TSMC's business model is heavily reliant on significant research and development investments in advanced semiconductor processes. The rapid progression from 16 nanometers to 3 nanometers chip fabrication processes showcased TSMC's technical prowess. However, the Huawei Kirin 9000S chip demonstrated that bigger process nodes could still deliver top-tier performance. 
This revelation has made TSMC's strategy of continually pushing the boundaries of semiconductor technology a subject of scrutiny. As companies like Apple and Qualcomm, who rely on TSMC's manufacturing capabilities, face challenges, TSMC is left grappling with the consequences of its technological arms race. Furthermore, as the semiconductor industry landscape shifts, TSMC faces competition not just from established players, but also from emerging semiconductor companies based in mainland China. TSMC's global expansion TSMC, recognizing the importance of diversifying its operations and meeting the demands of its global clients, embarked on a strategy of global expansion. One significant move was the decision to build a semiconductor fabrication facility in the United States. This move was perceived as a strategic effort to align itself more closely with U.S. interests and potentially gain favor with U.S. authorities. TSMC announced an investment of $40 billion in the construction of factories in the U.S., which was seen as a significant commitment to the U.S. market. However, this global expansion strategy brought its own set of challenges. TSMC faced issues related to labor and construction costs when establishing factories abroad.